Hello everyone, I am Roshni and welcome to my channel Circuit Globe. Today in this video lecture, we will be going to discuss what is a half wave rectifier. So guys, let's get started. A half wave rectifier can convert only one half cycle of the applied AC signal into pulsating DC. In case of a half wave rectifier, the other half of the applied AC signal gets suppressed as the circuit allows the conduction in one direction only. Basically, it converts the applied alternating voltage into unidirectional pulsating voltage by the use of only one half cycle. Now the question arises, what are the components involved in the circuit of a half wave rectifier that converts only one half cycle of the AC signal into pulsating DC? So these are basically a step down transformer, a semiconductor diode and a load resistor through which the output is achieved. Let's now move further to understand the circuit operation of a half wave rectifier. So friends, the figure here represents the circuit of a half wave rectifier having the required components. Also, a high voltage AC source is present over here that supplies the signal to the circuit that is to be converted. Initially, the signal applied at the primary winding of the step down transformer is a high voltage AC signal. And so, the transformer reduces the high voltage to a lower value so that it cannot destroy the components present in the circuit. But a noteworthy point over here is that both the halves of the low voltage AC signal reacts differently when passed through the rest of the component of the circuit. So, let's see how this happens. We already know that a diode allows unidirectional flow of current that is from cathode to anode. So, when positive half of the AC signal is applied to the circuit then it causes the diode to come in forward biased condition as positive is connected to positive and negative is connected to negative. Due to the forward biased condition the diode starts acting as a closed switch and due to this reason current starts flowing through the load resistor RL. It is to be noted here that we have considered an ideal diode for which the barrier potential is zero. But in case we have considered the piecewise model, then in that particular case, there exists some value of potential barrier that must be surpassed by the majority carriers in order to have the conduction. So in forward biased condition, the diode is permitting the flow of current. And due to this reason, the positive half of the applied signal appears across the load and so at the output. But friends, as we move further and apply negative half of the AC signal at the input of the circuit, then this causes the diode to come in reverse biased condition. And we all know in reverse biased condition, the diode starts acting as an open switch. And due to open switch condition, no further conduction through the circuit will be possible. And as no current is flowing through the diode, hence no signal will appear at the load. This is the reason why it is said to be a half wave rectifier because it rectifies only one half of the signal applied to its terminal. Let's now have a look at the waveform representation of a half wave rectifier. Here Vs is representing the signal applied at the input of the circuit and Vl is representing the signal achieved at the output. And we have already discussed that for an ideal case of diode the magnitude of the signal achieved at the output will be equal to the magnitude of the signal at the input. So guys, we achieve only the positive half of the signal at the output due to the input but no signal will be achieved for the negative half cycle as the diode does not conduct in negative half cycle. Now friends, let's proceed further to determine the average output voltage for a half wave rectifier. So guys, after examining the graphical representation of output of half wave rectifier, we can clearly say that value of output voltage for limit 0 to pi will be Vm sin omega t and for pi to 2 pi it will be 0 volts. So in order to determine the average output voltage, we integrate the output voltage for one time period that is between 0 to 2 pi and this is the equation that shows the integration of output voltage in order to determine the average voltage. 
Now on separating the limits of integration we get V average is equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration 0 to pi Vm sin omega t d omega t plus integration pi to 2 pi 0 d omega t and we know integration of 0 is 0. Thus we achieve V average as this equation. Now taking the constant term out and integrating sin omega t d omega t we get V average is equals to Vm upon 2 pi minus of cos omega t under the limits 0 to pi. Now on substituting the limit we get V average is equals to Vm upon 2 pi minus cos pi minus of minus cos 0 and we know cos pi is equals to minus 1 and cos 0 is equals to 1 and substituting these value also we will get V average is equals to Vm upon 2 pi into 2 and further we get V average is equals to Vm upon pi. We know the value of pi is 3.14 and substituting this value also finally we get V average as 0.318 Vm. So guys this is all about half wave rectifier. Well friends this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope this video will help you. So please press the like button and share with your friends and also put on your comments below and do subscribe our channel for more updates. I will be back with a new lesson. Till then take care. Bye bye.